speaking of events happening, Mayfest in Fort Worth has a history mm. of bad mm. weather. Back in 1995, hail the size of golf balls rained down on the crowd there. <laughs> And the forecast looking a whole lot better this weekend for the festival. That's its 47th year in Trinity Park. Yeah, Chris Sadegi uh, dug through the archives and found some old footage from uh, way back when those very first festivals in the early 1970s, and he's got it in today's Daybreak Rewind. Each chairman was able to choose their own favorite logo. When you walk around Mayfest, its history is on display. This being the first logo for Mayfest. <laughs> But we also found its history in the SMU Jones Film Archive. There's a new voice calling. The performances, the paddle boat rides, it's all been here since the very first May Fest in 1973. What jumped out at me was a young man who was dancing on the stage because you see that today. And there's a very good chance that young man has brought back his daughter and her daughter. The Mayfest got into full swing today. And between the mouse races and other fun, there was plenty of food just like there will be this year. And the must-have item at the top of the menu? You can treat the taste buds to just about any kind of concoction, including peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I guess you can say our taste buds have moved on to more adventurous concoctions. One of the constants with Mayfest and with Fort Worth is the river that runs through them both. And this event has always tried to keep Cowtown looking naturally beautiful through the decades. Mayfest has been able to give back $7.5 million, and you'll see the improvements here in the park. They estimate the Mayfest might net $40,000 this year. Money that benefits Fort Worth parks, streams and valleys, and the Junior League, thanks to a big crowd. Mayfest meant fun to more people this year than ever before. In one day alone, Saturday, 45,000 people showed up. We will see 40,000 in one day. Our normal attendance over the four days is historically 200,000 people. Do you have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? We may not have that peanut butter sandwich, but we do have peanut butter spoons here at Mayfest this year. A delicious treat 40 years from now, they may be laughing about while at Trinity Park with their family. It brings them memories, they build memories here. In Fort Worth, I'm Chris Sadegi. One thing that does not go out of style ever is cotton candy. Did she say peanut butter spoons? Yeah, maybe you're eating your stuff with it. Interesting, okay. Whatever you want, your ice cream, your chili, <laughs> I don't know. Well, you gotta go out and check it out <laughs> to find out. Uh, it's 626 in the morning.